Growing up in Revere, we had a certain edge about us. You know, football was everything to us. We weren't scared. We're as good as you, and we'll prove it. We were the Beach Boys when you played against another town. They considered us punks. In Revere, our kids stayed together like brothers. They wanted to play together, and they wanted to fight together. And at the time, the old GBL was called the Black and Blue League. They learned how to play football, blood and guts. Fullback, tailback, guards pulling, tight ends pulling, and everybody's hitting. Silvio was a Marine. He treated us like Marines. He lived that life at home and on the football field. Chella's preseason was hell. No water breaks, it was off limits. We spent the whole summer working out in 1964, and we just hit the ground running with a team that didn't have a lot of talent, but really understood what they were doing and what they wanted to do. I haven't seen anybody as good as Jimmy Dalgazo. He wanted to marry you, and that's the attitude you want. It was, it was very enjoyable being in Revere. The city was big time, they loved the football. And it, it all came up maybe a week before Thanksgiving Day. I mean, all of a sudden it was a problem. There was excitement, we were undefeated, but right smack in the middle of the week, the headmasters came down with their ruling that we were now 0-8. It was quite a shock when it happened, yeah. It was like, oh my God. No one knew it. My father wanted to yell and scream and tell people this wasn't a cover-up, we did nothing wrong. We got our chagardias, as we used to call them, kicked in, and we expected to come back and play. We were mad, we were unhappy. We needed to show that we were still able to win a big game. 